party slash workshop. I'm going to use the Oval Occasion stamp set and the punch. So this comes as a bundle. It is in the mini catalog, which is good until the end of June. Page 65, if you want to take a closer look at it, if you have a mini catalog. If not, you can look it up on my website at https colon, semicolon, colon, no colon, backslash positively debbie dot stampin up dot net. Yep. And there is a host code link. If you go to the host code link, it will take you directly to my little online store there at Stampin Up, and then you can order it and get a discount. So this is what we'll be using. I've already cut out my pieces, so I have a white card base. You can use any color card stock you want to, but this is what I'm going with. So I have the white card base. So this is five, five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I cut this down probably about an eighth of an inch. So, and then I cut this piece down another eighth of an inch. So there's lots of layering on this card. And this is the new, what color was it? Oh, I don't know all the end colors yet. This is the new end color card stock. And this one is Peach Parfait, I want to say. Yep. Peach Parfait. <clears throat> so, I like it. It's a cool color. Whoa. Okay. My ink pad just dropped. So, we're going to layer them all up just like so. Then I cut this one down which a little bit shorter than the rest of them, which I cannot tell you how much I cut it down. This one is, oh, avalanche. Oh, what is falling? Huh. Something fell. Okay, so this is four. I can't see it. Is that inches? Or is this? Nope. It has to be inches. So this one is four and one less than four and three quarters by one less than three and a half. So there's that. Then there's this piece, which I cut at three inches by two inches. That one's three inches by two inches. And then this one is two right at two and three quarters by one it's two over th one and three quarters so i don't do fractions okay then we got this piece to go in the middle right here we're gonna be stamping on that and then we got this piece and this piece we'll put our sentiment on that one okay so let's go ahead and get our stamping done. And hopefully you can see it. So I like my new glass map from We Are Memory Keepers. So it's really nice because if you want to get it messy, you can wipe it off. Okay, I'm going to use my black memento ink. I have my, oh, this is, a close to my heart stamp block but it works the same as a Stampin' Up. So whatever Stampin' Up, whatever stamp block you have for your stamps, it all works. Uh, 
I always forget these cling stamps. So, on these cling stamps, you peel off the back of it. I think, is it this side or is it this side? Nope, it's this side. Okay, so we're going to peel off, well, maybe not. Now I don't know. I think it's one of these sides you peel off, not that side. Okay, it's gotta be this side. And I like peeling off, if I can see it, that's the whole problem. Like, I gotta have it so close to my face right now. Okay. Maybe that's not the right side. Yep, there we go. Okay. So we get half of it peeled off. Then we take our stamp, and I like doing it half, so we lay that down, hopefully I get it pretty straight on there, and then I go back, and I peel off the other side, if I can get it, just like that, and then I finish laying it down, and then you can pick it up, and you got your your cling because it's real sticky right there so it will stick to your your block just like so let's get it straight okay just like so Ta -da. oh but well I guess we can go ahead and stamp it right now. This one is gonna get stamped onto the white scalloped edge, and I just got black on that piece. <laughs> okay. Okay, and are you in frame? Can you see this? Yes, you can. Okay, so we're going to stamp this right on. Look, it just fits perfectly on that. We're going to stamp it right down there, just like so. Ta-da! Perfect. Alrighty. And then I'm going to take my cleaner spray. Which is almost gone. That's one thing I keep forgetting to order. Is my cleaning spray. I don't know why I use cleaning spray because we also have the the chamois which you just keep damp and when you're done using it you just wipe it off. Okay. And it comes clean. Oh. Alright, I'm going to put this one back. Oh no, what happened? Okay, and then we're going to use, actually we're going to put this back over here on top of that one, and then we're going to use I think we're going to use this flower one. Yep. And that one is right there. Oh, well, come on here. Okay. 
peel this one off. I guess we're just gonna peel both of them. Hopefully I'm doing this the right way. There. We're gonna put that back in there like that. Alright. Peel this one up. Well, I guess first we need to take the backing off of it. Well, I'm struggling here a little bit. That's okay. We will get it. Okay. That's good enough. Alright. We're going to put that on our stamp block. So now we have a group of flowers and we are going to stamp our group of flowers around the perimeter of this card. Just like so. One over here. Great. And I totally botched that card. Look at that. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. All right. I am going to go fix this and I will be right back. Okay. I'm back. I got most of the busy work done. So we're just going to finish putting it together. I did want to draw some stitch lines around the perimeter of this. So we're just going to draw these in. Like so. Just like that. I hope I was in camera there. There. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to glue this on. We're gonna glue this layer onto here. Which side do we want up? That one? Me? Eh, that one looks good. Or do we want it this way? Let's go this way. Okay, we're gonna glue this one on. Okay, now we're going to layer these pieces. kind of centered on there. I'm not really going to use very many dimensionals on this because it's so layered already. I don't really want it much more layered or too high. Okay. Oh, okay, good. And we're going to center this in here. Just there. About right there. Just like so. And then I used a sentiment that said sweet friend. This one we're going to pop up with dimensionals. So I have some mini dimensionals here that probably came from a paper pumpkin and I haven't used them. So we're just gonna put about four of them on here. Oh, just like so. 
remove the backings. I guess it fell off. Okay, and we're gonna put that one kind of down here. And I guess we're gonna cover up that flower thing right there, but oh well, that's okay. All right, we're gonna put it back right there. And that's our card. I like that one. I think it turned out cute. Smink of Stella's poster in here. Which they could be, but I'm not going to dig through them right now. Alright, well that's card number one using Oval Occasions Bundle.